far, far, far ahead um, on the payments of most of our debt as well, and in general, make us uh, 12 times as 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 liquid uh, without any further reparations whatsoever. But this is also the only way that our our expatriated industry is going to return to us. You see, it's this multiplication of artificial indebtedness, which collapsed an industry and sent an industry to uh, labor markets, uh, which it, it which it could, uh, you know, more effectively exploit. So there's one solution for all these things, and it isn't to regulate something which can only, so long as it exists, it imposes interest uh, upon us. So long as this obfuscation exists, um, that interest can only multiply artificial indebtedness into terminal failure. We can't regulate that. Uh, you could say, oh, we learn, you know, we collapse the system again. We decided that, uh, you know, the interest rates uh, imposed by Paul Volcker, you know, as, as Reagan took office in 1980, uh, were too high. We make the Federal Reserve uh, reduce those interest rates. Well, it's uh, the, the only consequence of doing this is that we fail over a longer time span, which we've seen. We've seen this system uh, artificially extend extend its lifespan by by reducing interest rates from purportedly justified interest rates. They didn't have any actual justification and, and we're at fault for um for allowing them to persist in, in, in all of these acts without any justification whatsoever. It's impossible to justify all these things because all this central banking system is is a mere publisher of the evidence of our debts to each other, uh, our obligations to pay and retire principal from circulation when the real creditor who gives up property in exchange for a promissory obligation is paid in full. The only thing that maintains the integrity of those promises obligations then is to pay the prince pay and retire the principal at the rate of consumption which uh, of the related property which in all cases without any regulation whatsoever uh, preserves a, a a remaining circulation which is equal to the remaining value of all the property that it represents then and then alone can what we call money have integrity and particularly can it have the necessary immutable in integrity uh, or, or, or immutable tokenization of value which imposes no injustice whatsoever on anyone, much less um, would it impose any uh, interruption of prosperity because there is no multiplication of artificial indebtedness whatsoever um, and there's no injustice imposed whatsoever, um, which are... Um, not just uh, uh, inherent characteristics of this uh, lie of economy, this ancient ruse uh, that we call a central banking system. Um, on the contrary, that ruse is, as we've seen, and as we are seeing in all the evidence everywhere about us, that ruse is inherently terminal. Nothing about our actions today in any way reflects a changed view of the housing correction or the strength of other U.S. financial institutions. What has he just said here? It's important for us to carefully reflect on these assertions in order to put them into accurate perspective, in order to preserve, per perceive the, the real truth, the actual truth, the only truth. So he's just said that nothing uh, of this uh, purported federal takeover of two major lending agencies to the um, housing industry, which, of course, while it's an industry, it likewise represents the vitality of the market to survive artificial escalation of uh, housing prices and perpetual multiplication of artificial indebtedness upon that market. Now, he's saying that the one hand that the it, none of none of this activity, this uh, purportedly or assumably at least uh, necessary takeover of 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 two lending lending agencies. 
reflects nothing bad somehow. Everything's under control. Um, but this is the hugest uh, lie that everything is under control. Everything is out of control from the very beginning because so long as interest is imposed uh, upon our issue, issuance of our promissory obligations to each other, this unjustifiable imposition of interest on, upon our right to issue promissory obligations to each other, our right to contract to each other in such a way that we use those contracts, that those contracts uh, uh, are currency, that they monetize our wealth in ways that we can exchange it with immutable tokens of value, which which cannot injure us. Our right to do that is is negated by this uh, unjustifiable imposition of interest by a mere publisher. And yet, um, the failure of these two major lending agencies, peripheral peripheral banks, which lend um, to we the people, their collapse, as we're unable to pay our 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 debts. Uh, purportedly here, according to this assertion, um, doesn't uh, negate uh, the purported vigilance of these purported regulatory agencies, which are really just seen after uh, the takings of the central banking system. Well, that's impossible that they be vigilant then because uh, uh, this obfuscation of the currency is is itself terminal um all they're asking you to do is 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 look the other way be stupid forever look the other way while we rob you blind while we take every last thing from you as this system imposes terminal dispossession on you and you think somehow you can regulate a process uh, or that we are regulating it on your behalf which is even more preposterous um, uh, when in fact this process is as we've shown over and over and over again inherently terminal two days later Lehman Brothers announced record losses of 3.2 billion dollars and its stock collapsed in other words, even, even in the face of this purported vigilance, which is purportedly seen after us, uh, the consequences of this inevitable failure of this process, which can only engender inevitable failure, prevailed over the ostensible vigilance and the uh, ostensible uh, purported regulation and the precipitous failure. So this is just a further testament that uh, not that we can regulate uh, the uh, consequences of a terminal process, but that we have to resolve the causes of terminal failure in the obfuscation of the currency itself, or we will only uh, suffer uh, the inevitable failure of all these peripheral banks, which failure only reflects our own inability, inevitable inability, uh, to persist in servicing uh, an and, and ever escalating sum of artificial indebtedness. And I mean, uh, how deep are we into this failure already? Well, it's wrong for us to presume that uh, because we aren't suffering um, um, too. Uh, uh, monumentally at, at this point that, uh, you know, a failure isn't so bad then. Well, that's not true at all because we can only persist at the brink of terminal failure so long as they can continue to pour money into circulation through federal overspending. And, of course, any attempt to rectify that is, is a facade as well, and it, it, it won't even succeed in, in accomplishing that ob ob object by the intention of the perpetrators because if it did, we would we would we we would suffer uh, to a greater degree the ramifications of failure. 
it's wrong for us to presume some kind of comfort in the fact that uh, we're not feeling um, the extents of the failure as we will when its full weight bear finally bears upon us because uh, obviously uh, if if we just continued say we we, we resumed uh, um, servicing federal debt federal uh, terminal federal indebtedness uh, 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 to some purportedly austere degree uh, so much would our taxes increase that we would we would hardly um, um, uh, we would hardly be able uh, to afford to do anything else. Uh, if we actually paid um, the full weight of all the artificial costs which have been imposed upon us, uh, the, the disaster uh, of all this would be evident. Uh, and we ourselves are at, at huge fault then for uh, not spending the small, you know, the, 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 the negligible amount of, 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 of time that responsible people uh, would, would, would spend um, to get their brains around what's really going on here. Why is it government doesn't serve us? How is it only perpetrators ascend to office uh, when uh, elections are, are, are so expensive to, to fund um, on the part of every uh, candidate? Um, you know, these things should be obvious to us. And, and uh, here today, um, uh, in uh, the purported information age, that we don't unite, that we don't uh, uh, join uh, each other uh, in uh, prevailing over uh, this uh, terminal crime against us um, by asserting uh, this, you know, mandate uh, for mathematically perfected economy and, and absolute consensual representation, which is the only instrument that resolves all these issues. That we don't do that is to our own uh, further discredit. But to presume that we're better off just persisting in this while, you know, we ourselves might not be put under uh, as yet um, is, is, is a terrible abandonment of our responsibility, uh, the costs of which are a compromisation of our uh, prosperity, uh, which is uh, unconscionable. I mean... Um, to reduce our, our our home payments on the scale uh, of uh, in respect to a hundred thousand dollar home with a hundred year lifespan, on this to reduce the, the our mortgage costs on, at this on the scale of from a thousand dollars a month to a thousand dollars a year, making us twelve immediately twelve times as liquid without any improvement in in. Um, uh, income, which is uh, likely to come under mathematically perfected economy, um, is uh, a preposterous, uh, self-inflicted uh, uh, magnitude of, of damage, which, uh, you know, itself even fails to exercise the most fundamental principles of, 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 of representation. You know, we've abandoned 